This is Charlie Boy in New Orleans, Louisiana. Working on my Sports to 48, um, doing a bunch of changes. Right now I'm finishing up my wire and there's my last little cable here. And what I'm doing is I'm um, heat shrinking this. It's going inside of my bars. This is going to be my brake switch for when I touch my brake. For when I touch my brake, um, it'll it'll light up my rear lights and then uh, I'm gonna show you all the other things that I've done here all right so basically this is gonna be the brake switch it's gonna go up into my bars this is gonna be left turn signal right turn signal for up front this is gonna be my headlight it's gonna be a power source for my cell phone or a GPS. This is gonna be my ignition, which is gonna follow the tank, pop down here. It's gonna come out through here, but you're not gonna be able to see it. Uh, I'm gonna just stick my key up in there and turn it on. This is my left and right turn signal. Come down here. This is gonna be all my switches, my horn, ignition, uh, bright lights. Um, this is just fuses for different things. Over here, this is gonna be my brake light, uh, which goes at the bottom of my fender. It's a little Harley brake light. And I'm gonna jump off of here, go to my sissy bar, and it's gonna have a, a running light. And when I hit the brake on top of it, it's gonna have a brake light, and that's gonna be jumped off of here. Off of my turn signals, I have two turn signals Frenched into my, into my fender. And off of those, I'm gonna jump to two other turn signals that I'm gonna have on the end of my strut. Uh, somewhere back here, I also have my license plate um, light. And uh, that's about all when it comes to uh, the electrical part. Um, also gonna be doing my, uh, removing my swing arm as you can see. Be taking those motor mounts out. Uh, currently that bolt is stuck in the drive shaft so I'm having it in the drive shaft in the uh, swing arm pivot shaft uh, and it spins when I try to get it out so I'm gonna have to come up with a really good idea on how to get that out if anybody uh, sees this video within a couple of days if you have any ideas I have a couple but I'm very open to some other suggestions um, other things I'm doing everything is getting repowder coated um, my tins, I'm gonna do Plasti Dip. I'm gonna experiment with that, just have a little fun. Um, this spring, I'll be buying my uh, paint rig, a couple of good quality guns, and some um, and some different paint jobs every two, three months. But for now, I'm gonna just Plasti Dip it, have a little fun with it, Plasti Dip the rims, uh, get everything powder coated and uh, looking nice again. Uh, Changing the pipes, done with the uh, Rush slip-ons. I'm gonna go with two and a one D&D uh, Bobcats. And a couple other little subtle changes, but the bike's overall gonna look the same. Just a lot more lighting in the back, uh, a lot cleaner. The wires, as you can tell, all cleaned up. And a um, little bit more power to it. Um, the Bendalicious bars that I had put on it, I'm giving it a little bit of a tweak, bending them a little bit, just slightly, make them look good. Anyway, Charlie Boy, New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, any questions, just ask. I'm going to be doing a bunch of stuff to this bike, man. So y'all keep tuned and uh, help me figure some of this shit out. Maybe y'all can figure some of y'all shit out. Later.